Production will not be televised. A lot of people are under the wrong impression that YouTubers do not have to take the oath and they do not have to engage in the activities and processes that the music industry folks and the people from Hollywood have to partake in. This could not be further from the truth. As we know nowadays, YouTubers, TikTok stars and Instagram stars, all these other folks, they in some cases have more of an influence and fan base than actual stars from movies and musicians it's a well-known fact that once a youtube channel reaches 100,000 subscribers they get a youtube rep it sounds good because you think you're getting someone they can directly contact and solve issues with if you're having any problems but the way i see it and the way it's also portrayed you get a manager they kind of become the manager of your channel and that's literally them putting a handler over you and over your channel that is to limit and guide you on what you're going to say and which direction you're going to go if you go up to your youtube rep with a certain topic that's deemed controversial they're gonna stray you away from that they're gonna advise you and say look this is not good for the money you're not gonna make money if you talk about this topic and things of that nature to keep you away from touching on certain topics I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys you know getting to a certain level I'm not saying I was involved in no media company but when you get to a certain level okay because I've had um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I've had sponsors all right reach out to me okay um, about last year uh, no 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 not last year a, a couple of months ago this was actually a couple of months ago right located in New York City and they wanted to sponsor my channel. I don't know the product. I can't recall the product that they was doing. It was about something else. Um, you know, they were they were definitely Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just say that they was Caucasian. I spoke to them on the phone. They wanted to do business with me, but they wanted they wanted full control over my channel. And I, I simply told them I simply told them uh, I'm not interested. All right. So when I, I feel like when I said I wasn't interested, um, you know, things started happening. I started seeing big YouTubers start throwing jabs and saying wild shit you know what i'm saying and then it was like oh, okay y'all probably in cahoots you know it is what it is i don't even care about that was youtuber jay marvelous shout out to him he is in the same genre of youtube as i am and many others he was basically talking about his experience of how they were trying to buy him out basically and gain control of his channel because he's got a big channel more than a hundred thousand subscribers and when he kind of declined there he noticed that other big youtubers were throwing shots at him well that's because if you go high enough in this youtube stuff you realize that a lot of these big channels and even the podcasts are managed by certain companies and they give out these deals these podcast deals that you see if you go high enough you realize it's the same company setting up the podcast for these different people so there are bigger entities involved above these youtubers you know there's this whole thing going on on youtube where a few youtubers get together and they live in a house and things of that nature that's some weird stuff to me that's basically an equivalent of a mansion party that these other celebrities exposed so yes yeah, so they do that that's because they have something in common which is that they are managed by the same people yes in hollywood if you're in the industry the devil the devil they like illuminati all that shit, they try to get you Especially when you got a big influence, you around and shit. They be try, they try to get anybody, but you just gotta be smart and have discernment and and have God's favor over you. Cause if you don't got that and you in Cali, you gonna get sucked in. But let me tell you, let me tell you what they do is they invite you to these parties, these house parties, and then they they be like, oh, Woot the Woot gonna be there, like your favorite rapper, the big ass person, and Woot the Woot gonna be there. Oh, uh, before you get in, you gotta give us your phones and all this shit, and then and then. They might do some gay shit to somebody and then like try to like and record it and tell them, oh, if, if you if you expose us, we're gonna post it everywhere. And I know that from what of ear, but I know they do a lot of crazy shit in these in these house parties. Let me tell you an experience I went through personally. So I was with some friends in LA and it was this big influencer party. Shall I say a name? It was Bella Thorne party. So so I got invited from some other friends. I, it was on Halloween. I already don't celebrate Halloween. That's the devil's day. But I happened to be with them and they was going. I was like, fuck it, let's go. So it already was a lot of signs. The, the party said you have to be half naked. I'm like, first of all, I ain't going half naked nowhere. Second of all, um, it was like a lot of signs that was adding up that night. Like the same night on Hollywood Boulevard, the party was on Hollywood Boulevard. Some guy got shot and killed on Hollywood Boulevard. So the whole street was shut down. So that was another sign. So then we get to the party. So we get up there. They tell my, um, oh yeah, you can't bring your phone in. I'm like, first of all, who ain't bringing their phone in? I'm bringing my motherfucking phone in. I don't give a fuck who you is. It could be Kim Kardashian and I'm bringing my phone. And then you got to sign some papers. What am I signing some shit for to get into a party? Like, what? 
This is where it really threw me off. They said they had to prick your blood to get in. I said, oh no, I'm good. Everyone else went, I called my Uber and left. Like, that's the shit where I think they be trying to get you. And like, if it's like, like you gotta think about it, people move to LA for a dream. They chasing money, fame, clout, whatever. So they gotta think about it, somebody, a young girl that's trying to get on, they just moved out there. She gone. Oh hell yeah, better throw in there. You don't know who else in there. Like connections. Me, I'm I'm good. Like that shit gonna come naturally. I don't gotta prick my finger, take my blood against my party. If it's meant to happen, it's gonna happen. I'm not finna do no something like that. So that was Vicky Wo, who became famous online through Instagram and YouTube, and she's saying basically the same type of story that we've heard about Hollywood and the music industry. So even at lower levels, this type of stuff happens. This is for the people that deny that. Oh, this only happens at the highest highest level. No, this is proof that even at lower levels of fame and popularity you get invited to certain places and get access to certain spots based on what you do and if you pass the first few hurdles for example in her example she said that they asked her to you know take some of her blood and she denied and she went back so i'm sure she was never invited again to any of these sort of parties this is the reason so many of these youtubers go crazy after they become too famous because they've done some shit that will never leave their souls and they've le left a mark on their souls basically one good example is FusiTube, who became really famous like i think around five six years ago then he just went crazy he went crazy he's even got a video of him just going up to a podium and just screaming and dressing really weirdly and he even connected with drake how do you think he did that youtuber gets access to drake come on man but here's the thing a lot of these youtubers already came in haven't already taken the oath so they had already taken the oath and then they just entered youtube and then you have some that were already disgusting and then you know that just youtube allowed them to broadcast their disgustingness to millions of people a good example is this person i'm not gonna say the name but let's watch a clip of what i'm talking about good job lucy but next time shake your titties more and you take off the jacket and show more Good job over there. Hey, what's up, you guys? So it is family day, and like every family day, it's full of emotional eating. And Lucy, I checked my statistics, and I have a lot of child molesters watching. So can you please eat a cocktail weenie? Do it slow. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like that chocolate, that weenie. Ooh, it tastes also good. Do like an Asian, like. You got the question wrong. You know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing a home man. Do 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 if you're still watching the video please hit the like button and turn your notifications by clicking the notifications bell so there's this youtuber in every of his thumbnail videos he puts up this pose the hush pose what is he referring to i don't know you tell me well i believe here's my opinion just an opinion i haven't done too much research on this guy i believe that's him signifying his oath he's taking the oath of silence you know what that means that's connected to three jasonry He's taking the oath. I mean, he's clearly a successful man by the standards of the modern world. So, yes, he could be referring to his allegiance with the three Jasons. But anyway, there are some YouTubers that have already come in and they've already taken the oath. But they've just been put on YouTube for certain purposes. A good example of this is Kevin Samuels. To the CIA, one love to the FBI. Just like Derek Jackson, Kevin Samuels is a a plant as well. Kevin Samuel's mission is to lure invulnerable, heartbroken black men who were raised by single mothers, or with beta fathers, who didn't teach them about women. He's being pushed as a hero for men to follow. Kevin Samuel's mission is also to bring women on so that men only see the most ratchet hood women, which paints the narrative that all black women are like this so stay away. My theory is that Kevin Samuels will either be exposed as a closeted homosexual or he will be taken off the world stage. So the video that you just watched on your screen, this person who made this video actually predicted how Kevin Samuels was going to go out and honestly those were really two good predictions. I thought it was going to be the colorful way that Kevin Samuels was going to go. But as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I don't know whether Kevin Samuels even existed like was he even real see i don't know and i don't think he was real i tend to believe that he was put on youtube and given sudden popularity to push an idea out to the masses and then for him to disappear in my opinion i think his purpose was to make men dislike women overall 
and for them to go the other way that's what i thought really men go in their own way have you ever heard of this movement well that movement in my opinion is really not a heterosexual move it's for men to go their own way but they go in their own way together that's the ultimate purpose but hey we'll never know all we can know for now is that his death was definitely very suspicious the way it happened so about a week not today but about a week ago i sold my soul you understand what i'm saying and uh ever since i sold my soul i haven't been happy ever since listen i had to do it you understand what i'm saying because like i had to do it because i was trying to make it like you feel me like <clears throat> and as of when i was like selling my soul um like there was things that i could sacrifice about and stuff like that and i sacrificed myself I could have sacrificed anybody, but like, but when you sell your soul, you gotta sacrifice someone that you really love. And I sacrificed myself and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I did it. You get what I'm saying? Um, I couldn't do it with nobody that I love. The demon asked me, uh, you, "Are you sure you want to sacrifice yourself? You sacrifice someone that you love?" I said, "No." Nah. But when you sell your soul, you feel me? You gotta, you gotta. Uh, it's not what how people say it is. You, you really gotta. Like you really got to pick, you understand what I'm saying? And and, and 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 you get anything you want. You get to be rich. You get to you get to be you get to have fortune. You get to you get to have everything everything you ever wanted. I haven't been happy ever since. I've been having anxiety every single day. What did I wish for? To be famous and, have, and be rich. You ain't rich, not yet. <clears throat> so was it worth it? It hasn't been done yet. It takes time. Now I gotta be patient. That was a, one of the Island Boys twins, the TikTok viral stars, talking about how he had to sell his soul and he hasn't been happy ever since he's done that. Whether he's lying or not, I don't know. But if he is lying, then he's clearly just promoting this to the younger generation that selling your soul is a cool thing and yeah so the point of this video is that youtubers also have to take the oath some of them have already taken the oath there are so many others if this video does well then i will see if i can make more parts of this because there are so many to cover and you can't do all of them in one video i'm out peace